In this video, we're going to figure backup storage in Zamanda. Configuring the storage target is the second step in the overall installation process. As an overview, we installed the backup server in the previous video. And in this video, we are doing step two, which is configuring the storage where the data will be backed up. After this video, we will walk through the remaining steps, which are to add data sources you want to back up, perform your first backup, and then perform your very first restore. In this video, we're configuring NAS as the backup storage in Zamanda, and we'll refer to the NAS subsection under the Add Storage section on docs.zamanda.com. It breaks the process into two main steps. First, we mount the NAS file system to the backup server. We create a directory inside the NAS file system and change the ownership of that directory to the Amanda backup user. This ensures that Zamanda has full access to write data to this directory within the NAS file system. Second, we go to the Zamanda management console, ZMC, and ensure that ZMC has configuration details to write data to the storage target. Let me demonstrate all of this and open my command line. I also keep this documentation on the right. First, I go to the location where I want to mount the NAS storage. So in this case, let me use slash mount. And over here, I already have a directory called 1TB, to which I want to mount my NAS storage point. And to do that, let me get my mounting instructions from AWS. The provider you use to set up your network attached storage will offer you these instructions. Let me copy these instructions, pasting this on the command line. Now, I want to mount the NAS storage to 1TB directory and thus let me change the directory name from EFS to 1TB. The mount seems successful and if I run df-m, I can see that 1TB directory has the NAS system attached to it. The next thing we do as documented in step 6 is we create a directory inside 1TB and make sure that Amanda user has complete ownership of that directory. Let me cd into 1TB. And inside this, let me create a directory called backups. Now to change the ownership, you can follow the template from this command. And in my case, the directory name is exactly identical. Perfect. Now, as I can see, Amanda backup has complete ownership of the directory title backups. Note that we have mounted the NAS storage on the backup server. Now let's move to step two and log into ZMC and ensure we give ZMC all the configuration details to write data to the NAS storage. To do this, let me open my ZMC console, click on Add Storage, select a simple disk, and as I can see, NAS is an option present here. I'll select the server configured in the previous step and name it Production NAS. The root path is where the NAS is mounted on the backup server file system. In this case, we know it's mounted in mount directory inside 1TB. Let me copy the absolute path from command line. Do note, I've selected a directory where Amanda backup user has complete ownership on that directory. I'll keep all the other details as default and click on save. Give it a quick minute. Sweet. As you can see, NAS is configured as a storage target. In the next video, we'll configure the sources we want to backup. Talk soon.